A day of mostly sunny skies has helped the relief efforts, but we still have spring tides in effect. Even though the waters are subsiding, quite a few areas remain waterlogged and the ground is still sodden. So basically, we still be mindful about that. And that's the reason why the uh, orange level alert is with us in terms of the river and the flood alert. The rivers are near threshold, but decreasing. There's still a high risk around the Carney Basin. Meanwhile, out towards uh, the middle of the Atlantic, well north of the northern Leeward Islands, we do have an area of low pressure disturbance which may begin to develop it is over some warm waters head heading towards the north and then eventually pushing towards the northwest it's of no threat to the eastern caribbean but we we'll still be watching it obviously as we go through the hurricane season we now for us you can see the orange colors there that signified a few showers developing over the southwestern peninsula obviously some of those that showers are for the most part coming through and we'll continue to see that repeating as we go through friday but for the most part the bulk of the dry weather should remain with us through tomorrow, Thursday, and for much of a Friday. That little bit orange colour there, we just was seeing a small truffer passing through, but there is a lot of dry air around. So overnight for Tobago, then just a stray shower comes through, not much in terms of uh, any significant rainfall. The showers will likely favour along the coastline because the coastline, the waters will be warmer than the land. Meanwhile, as we go through the morning, notice the land will warm up and a few showers may just uh, pop up around uh, the hillsides there. But overall, conditions uh, should be mostly settled as you go through Tobago on Thursday afternoon. For Trinidad overnight, a couple of showers may be just popping up along that uh, southwestern corner as we've uh, seen. Uh, it's mostly for the first part of this evening. Into the first part of your morning, you'll notice a lot of sunshine coming through. It will be a warm start. That warmth will trigger a few local showers, especially down towards that southwestern corner once again. And the main reason you'll see a lot of moisture converging around those areas with the winds that are sort of swirling around at that time. So there is a possibility of a slight thunder shower around a point forward in into a carcass out towards a Pinal and a San Fernando. You may also see a few showers as well, but the bulk of a Trinidad should just see the occasional showers amongst the sunshine. Tonight's low, 24 degrees Celsius. The high tomorrow, 33 in Trinidad, 31 in Tobago. And Trinidad will remain warm through Friday and indeed for Saturday and uh, Sunday. We basically should have higher pressures as we head towards uh, the weekend. So we should be keeping conditions pretty tranquil. Similarly for Tobago. Heading offshore, we'll see the winds from the east bearing to the southeast at times with a moderate 15 knots. It's only a slight chop for the most part one and a half meters with those northeasterly swells remaining short at eight seconds and on the western side of Trinidad it will be calm in the Gulf of Paria. Be mindful that the spring tides remain in effect following the full moon so for 4.30 and 4.30 p.m those high tides will likely be higher than normal. We've been seeing across the southern Manu Islands some improvement. The ITC said has sunk towards the south, but it's still continuing to affect parts of Venezuela. Meanwhile, out towards Central America, we have the monsoonal trough there, bringing us some showers towards Panama and Costa Rica. But for the rest of the greater Antilles, uh, Kingston, a few clouds, 32 degrees Celsius expected here. Just a stray shower for Hispaniola, localized daytime heating expected. Out towards uh, the Lesser Antilles uh, for the Windward Islands, Barbados and Vincent Grenada mostly settled towards the north as well. For Antigua, they're still in the grips of a severe drought. So even though they will be seeing sunshine over 365 of their beaches, they would rather prefer rainfall at this time of the year. So that's your weather and that's it from me.